Kia ora, wherever you may be in the world. My name is Andre, welcome to my channel. This is an awareness and at some time will be an interactive channel about people like myself who write backwards or use their left hand or use both. Um, so as a young child, my brother and sister's books were, you know, they were a fascinating pastime for me. Watching them write and even more so the way they move the pen across a paper or um, the way they wrote letters in their books just enthralled me. I, I loved I loved the look of it, the way they, they drew curves and so forth. And I couldn't wait to get older to do the same thing. So I took it upon my three-year-old self and I rummaged through my brother's school bag. I found a black marker. There's a train going past. <laughs> if you can hear it, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, thank you. Pups. Um, so I took it upon my three-year-old self and rummaged through my brother's school bag and I found a black marker pen and you know, I casually walked into my parents' bedroom because that's where my cot was. And I slept in there. Um, and <laughs> it's something that I, I have never forgotten. And for me, that stage of my tiny little self was very exciting. Moving forward, I remember looking at for some paper in the room and I couldn't find anything so I turned around and in front of me was this beautiful big paper that I thought oh that would be beautiful to write on if I could just so what I did I walked up to it and it was my mother's my parents wallpaper and I wrote my brother's name backwards yeah and I squealed with excitement and the said brother that I wrote his name on the wall, he walked in, looked at the wall, <laughs> looked at me, ran out and screamed to my mother, Mum, Andre wrote on your bedroom wall. Well, I, I won't tell you how it ended. It wasn't very good for me, but I remember being held by my, peer, my mother and looking over her shoulder Oh, she was cursing at me but I was looking at the wall thinking oh, I know how to write and that's all I cared about that's all I cared about I didn't care about anything else of what she did to me after that but it was a significant turn for me thank you mm -hmm. um, as I as I grew older um, I, I tried everything to learn to write I taught myself how to how to write or well, when you're that age when you're three year old three years old you you think you're you know everything and I don't know how it was for you but for me writing was the only thing that existed for me I come from a very huge family and when you can't get your parents attention you turn to something else and for me it was writing um, so I was five when I first attended play school that's what it was called back then, kindergarten now. And I was teaching myself words and letters, pronunciations, and to write, I'll be at backwards. And then I got home early one day, and uh, my mother, looking all flustered, um, she came and picked me up from the headmaster's office because he was upset with my writing. And she says, baby, you need to learn to write. And I was very confused. To me, I was writing. I don't know what the problem was. And when she saw my confusion, she, uh, you need to learn to write forward if you ever want to go to school again. I was crushed. I was crushed. I wasn't allowed to go back to school until I could write forward. The school thought it would be quote unquote my situation 
that they had to deal with to fix. Ugh, I hated every moment. The yelling, the screaming. To get my letters right, I wasn't. <clears throat> it was hard. My mother was very hard on me way back then, but she's, it was for my own good, but back then it, it didn't feel like it. It felt like it was very horrible. I was quite traumatic. Traumatized by the whole experience, sorry. Um, and slowly I was failing to stay focused each day and the beatings would become more and the learning less. <sighs> I, I was five. I mean, I could write nearly better than anyone in kindergarten. I could definitely spell better. I could read my brother's books. I just couldn't write forward. My mind just could not comprehend it like, like normal children. It, it was quite stressful. Very stressful. Um, one evening after dinner, my parents cleared away the table and my brother and I looked at each other and he says, you want to draw? And I said, yeah, why not? I went into the lounge and <clears throat> I sat on the floor. He brings all his, his paper and pens. I just, I remember looking up to him and saying, what's wrong with me? He just hugged me. I remember being hugged. He's a great brother. Anyway, um, he, he just said, hey, stop that now, come on, let's draw. And he wiped my eyes dry and gave me his special pen, you know, the one that um, sketches beautiful birds and sceneries and lovely designs. I looked at it and then looked back at him and he smiled and his eyes smiled too. In my eyes, he was the most famous artist in the world. His paintings and drawings were all throughout the school. It was so beautiful. And then he just said, baby, write backwards, write to your heart's content. So I did. And um, I wrote all my siblings' names whole 13 of them and me 14 and when mum walked in and when mum and dad walked in my brother quickly took the paper away because he didn't want my mum to see and um but my dad saw he he caught on and then dad said just give her another piece of paper um and he gave me another pen and I had these two pens in my hand thinking okay what am I going to do with these? I can't write with two two pens in one hand, Dad. And he took he took one out of my hand and put them in the other. Says so now write again and just concentrate on your left hand. And I was confused for a bit, but I slowly began writing the names of my siblings or trying to again. Felt very very awkward. My hands were fumbling everywhere, dropping the pens, and I started to get really, really frustrated. But Dad and my brother encouraged me to keep trying, which was wonderful. And as I got used to the pens, it um, slowly dawned on me that it was wonderful. I was writing, you know, just drawing, and then I started writing letters together, and and then all of a sudden two pens magically create lines until two pens became one. I was writing forward and backward simultaneously. It was the most wonderful thing I had ever seen because I was like, oh look, it's writing forward. And I was like, oh, I can write forward. So eventually over the next day, few days, my dad, he held my left hand and he said, look, pretend that your finger is a pen, but keep your right hand writing. Just write the names. And eventually I got used to my finger pretending to be a, my left finger 
teeny to be a pen, but my right hand was writing forward. And then he held my hand until my right hand was doing all the work. I just had to get it in my mind that my right hand had to lead the way on the paper to write forward. And I constantly drummed it into my mind. Oh, that was, it was a breakthrough for us. It was really wonderful. And he said, baby, you're going to school in a couple of days. And I, I remember screaming and jumping up and down. And my brothers, when they came home from school, I showed him what I could do. And my favorite brother, he, he was the most beautifulest man I've ever met. He was kind, compassionate. He's not here anymore. But anyway. So eventually I got to learn how to do both. I could write backwards and forward. And as I grew older, the style that I had in my right hand was automatically, automatically portrayed to my left hand backwards. So as you see the style that I'm writing, it's over the years of learning and, and picking up the pen and trying to do different styles of writing with my right hand, I knew I'd, I didn't have to teach my left hand. It already knew. I, my mind already knew because I was born a left-hander. I, was, I already had it in my mind how to do it. So I was just teaching my right hand how to do new styles. So that's my story of um, how I became ambidextrous. Oh, here's some funny things. Um, I write with my right hand. I cannot write forward with my left hand, only backwards. I write with my right hand. I draw with my left hand. I use a bat with my left hand. I play tennis with my right hand. I shoot basketball with my left. I play soccer with, I boot the ball, soccer ball with my left. So there's a lot of things in my life that I do with both sides of my left and right body. Oh, sorry, both sides of my body. It's, it's, to me, it's not amazing. It's just what I had to learn to survive as a child. Um, and in my my life, I met a beautiful man, most <sighs> wonderful guy I've ever known in my whole entire life. His name is Jesus. Um, he's helped me a lot. When I first learned who God was, I was amazed. I, I was in love. I will say that God was my first love growing up as a child because I went through a very rough time with a lot of things, but you know, a lot of people do. But God found me and I found him and it's been wonderful ever since. Anyway, I, this is about to finish soon, but I just wanted to say thank you for taking time to watch my video and hear my stories um, I will be posting more over there in the future so watch out for that um, it's it's been a, a great ride so far so I hope you enjoy everything that you've seen and if you like it I'm glad I pray that God looks after you and your family and takes care of you like he has for me. I'd like to thank a couple of people um, for helping me make this video. First and foremost is God. Without him I wouldn't be here and you wouldn't be watching my videos. I love him. Second of all, two beautiful people I know from Michigan, USA are Jen and Terry Dillard. Thank you both for your encouragement to do this and to um, create my work because I had a lot of fear about writing the Ten Commandments backwards and everyone seeing it 
but you helped me there, to, uh, Jen. So thank you. Can only get better, right? Yeah. Well, without further ado, look, I am going to go. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care in everything you say and do. Until next time, bye-bye.